A generous gift. That's what Cheney School District says the taxpayers have given its children. Voters are approving a $79 million bond allowing the district to build two new middle schools, replacing the existing school that is currently 200 students over capacity and falling apart. The bond needs a supermajority of 60% to pass, and so far more than 65% of voters have approved it. The district says at this point it would be nearly impossible to overturn the lead. KXY 4's Sally Shulman was at Cheney Middle School today, and Sally, the district is celebrating tonight. They certainly are. It was a fun day to be at school today, Dave. The teachers were all in great moods. The students were thrilled. The schools are scheduled to open in 2012. By then, all of the kids who are in middle school right now will be in high school. Nonetheless, many of them are taking credit for the bond's passage. It means a lot to me and my family. Sam Seberger began campaigning for new middle schools about a month ago on KXLY. My brothers are going to be coming here in a few years, and I want them to not have to worry about being shoved into the walls and getting their head cracked open. You see, Seberger is the smallest boy on campus at Cheney Middle School. I've got to say four foot five. Knowing the need for new schools, perhaps better than anyone, he took his message to the streets of Cheney, sign waving. We got 58 honks, um, about 10 thumbs up, and um, about 50 waves. Now his success is the school districts too. I think elation would be the best way I would describe how the staff reacted. Principal Mike Stark says the middle school is at critical overload right now. It's about 200 students over capacity and growing. We're, crowd we're overcrowded now, and it's going to get worse. And so it, it is at a critical time. This morning, district officials met to kick off the planning process. It's a huge project. I mean, it's almost overwhelming uh, building two new schools. Architects have already started drawing up ideas for the two new campuses. The district plans to break ground spring of 2011 and open just in time for Sam Seberger's two younger brothers. It's going to be a lot better. So one of the middle schools is scheduled and will be built right here just to the west of where the current middle school is on this vacant piece of property here. Another middle school will be built on the same property as Windsor Elementary School closer to Spokane on the West Plains. Also part of this bond, a brand new elementary school. The school district is currently looking at land for that school. Live in Cheney tonight, Sally Showman, KXLY4 HD News.